Now to a case of a general gone wild. A U.S. Air Force uh, report revealing that a top commander of nuclear missile units was removed from his post after boozing it up and engaging in what is described as boorish behavior during a trip to Russia. Brian Todd is here in the Situation Room with the shocking details. Brian, tell us what's going on. Well, if the general's colleagues said they were shocked by all of this, the report says he was often drunk. He met with questionable women and often irritated his Russian hosts. One person in the general's delegation said his behavior put them all at risk. He controlled three nuclear weapons units, an arsenal of America's intercontinental ballistic missiles. And according to an Air Force Inspector General's report, on a recent trip to Russia, Air Force General Michael Kerry was often intoxicated, rude, and spent a lot of time with foreign women. Exceptionally outrageous. Uh, this is a very, very serious issue and quite frankly cannot be tolerated. The report says the trip in mid-July began with General Kerry drinking on the plane ride over, then on a layover in Zurich, loudly proclaiming, quote, he saves the world from war every day. Kerry commanded the 20th Air Force, a crucial nuclear warfighting wing. He was in Moscow to meet his Russian counterparts about safeguarding warheads. But he and a colleague also met with two women, including one who said she was Russian. They met on two consecutive nights, drinking and dancing until the wee hours, the report says. On a third night, it says Kerry talked for a long time with a female cigar store clerk. Quote, Kerry stated she was asking questions about physics and optics. Former FBI officer Eric O'Neill, who took down spy Robert Hansen and was portrayed in the movie Breach, says the general may have been targeted. These women could be trained intelligence officers who are honey traps. Their job is to seduce him and to extract information from him. And he's put himself in a position where uh, they have a good chance of doing that. The concern tonight, experts say, is that the general could have unintentionally given up sensitive information. He will understand uh, not only how the missiles work, but he will also understand what the missiles are targeted against. So he will not only have access to the target list, he will understand something about the launch codes, and he has worked in it himself as a more junior officer, so he understands the procedures. Tonight, there is no indication officials say that General Kerry's behavior impacted sensitive nuclear weapons operations, and there's no indication that he went beyond drinking, dancing, and talking with those women. But the report did cite him for conduct unbecoming an officer and a gentleman. He was stripped of his command of those nuclear units and is now an assistant at U.S. Space Command, but he still retains the rank of general. We tried several times to get response from General Kerry and could not. I eventually reached his wife on the phone. She said no comment and hung up on me. Well, but just his interaction with Russians caused quite a stir. This is all over this report. Uh, according to this report, he often interrupted presentations. He often interrupted translators with annoying comments. When he gave toasts, the report says he made insensitive comments about the war in Syria and about Edward Snowden, the NSA leaker, and that really irritated the Russians. All right, Brian, what a story that is. Brian Todd reporting.